Na right about now ni wakati ambapo Chantel anafika kwenye mansion kumbuka alikuwa amepewa invite. Alikuwa amepewa invite na nani? Na Mo. Yaani Mo asiachukulia hii nyumba kama kuwa uh, ma, yani siju mbona anajijazia Ivan, anajipea authority nyingine kubwa sana. Na yeye ni made tu. Aliletwa hapa kama mfanyikazi. Si si kukuja ku take over. Sasa kile ambacho anajaribu kuendeleza hapa inaonyesha kwamba anajaribu kuonyesha kwamba yeye ni mkuu kwenye this mansion. Right about now amemu invite Chantel. Na kumbuka kila mtu kwenye this mansion anamchukia sana Chantel kila mtu kwa sababu ya ile ujanja ujanja ambapo Chantel alikuwa anaendeleza between each and every party alikuwa anajaribu kuplaysha Becky na Tito anajaribu kuplaysha Junior na, Shan, na Trisha all about all that Chantel alikuwa anasumbua right about now ameletwa hapa kwenye mansion wamekuja siju ku discuss udaku gani udaku kuhusu Trisha ambapo uh, kumbuka bado Trisha yuko kule upande wa ghetto ni swala ambalo bado linazidi kuzua linazidi uh, kuwachekesha sana Chantel na nani na Mo So, ni kitu ambacho kimemleta hapa kwenye this mansion. Na amekuja hapa kwenye mansion kwa sababu tena ameinvitewa na nani? Na Mo. Anyway, guys, this is episode 95. Remember to subscribe, like and turn on notification bells. What's happening in this episode? This episode, the main part here is that Mo uh, anamu invite uh, Chantel. Something ambapo Junior hajafurahia sana na Becky. So, it's time ambapo Becky anajaribu kuhakikisha kwamba wawili hao wanafaa kufukuzwa. Eh? Mbuka beke ame, amedai junior wafukuze wawili hao kwa sababu uh, afurahi sana kumuona Chantel hapa na pia something i told you earlier on kwamba Becky anamchukia sana mo. Hiyo ni kitu ambacho inafaa ukae ukijua. Hata ambapo wakati ambapo Becky anajaribu kupandishwa madaraka unaweza kuona hamtaki sana mo karibu yake uh, anazidi kumkalia. Anyway, another thing that is happening in this episode ni wazi kwamba uh, mo bado anazidi kufanya nini? Kupeana udaku kwa Lexi. Mwanzani ndio kuambia Lexi false information about Tito. Mbona anamchukia sana Tito? Tito, Tito ana ana hata story mingi na watu. That guy is very humble, ametulia. But Mo ameanza kupeana false information. Anaambia Alexi kwamba uh, Tito Manzee ni gaidi ni gangster msee, umse alishi kule kwenye uh, ameishi kwenye prisons zote wapi? Mbona tukuoneshwa? So that is just false information. Anataka Alexi ajaribu kufanya nini? Kuchorea story yao msee, but Alexi nani nani? Alexi amependa Tito Manzee na wameishi pamoja. Manzee watu wili wamesurvive kule kwenye street. So uh, this false information that most trying to give sijui shida yake ni nini. Hmm? So uh, hapo baada hapo anamwambia anapeana Lex false information but Lex nae nani? Anamwambia mzee uh, perform your duties achana na Tito. Hiyo suri yote ambayo unajaribu kunichapia mimi najua suri ya Tito. Uh, Tito ni mzee mpoa mzee. I know all of uh, his stories mzee. Uh, Nilishajua suri yake. So hii kuja kuniambia ati Tito mzee aliplaysha Becky na Chantel mara akafanya Becky karibu ajue mzee yoyote ni maneno yako. So, uh, right now ninaonesha kwamba Alex Manzeni mwais na hataki kusikia anything negative about Tito. Of which uh, more na ndiye anajaribu kuharibu maneno mo kulingana na yeye hataki Tito mali hapa but all in all yeye hata na uwezo wa kusema the person to speak here is Junior and also Becky. So more itabidi anyamazie. Anyway, another thing in this episode uh, more tena alikuwa ameme invite huyo Shanten Manze uh, kuja ku discuss this issue of Trisha living in ghetto eh yeah? kumbuka ni kitu ambapo inakaa rare ni kitu ambayo haikae kama inawezekana Trisha manza anaishi Trisha anaishi kule upande wa ghetto ni kitu ambacho kinakaa very very rare so amefika uh, pale kwenye mansion anajaribu kupiga udaku na nani na mo kuhusu uh, sorry Trisha ndiposa on another side Lex na Tito wanasikiza the same wanakuja kuangalia huyu mwanadada Chantel anataka nini kwenye this mansion eh yeah? So uh, Chantel anajifanya mzuri mzee anaanza kumgotea Alex anamwambia sorry uh, siku wai pata enough time kuongea na wewe but I'm happy nimekuona tunaweza ongea but uh, wile ambaye ana uh, Alex anamwambia I'm sorry I'm the one to say thank you because uh, kupelesha Tito na Becky ilifanya sana Tito akakuja kuishi kule kwenye street tukaweza kukutana na yeye at least uh, from through Tito nikakuja kujua mata so thank you so much ulifanya tukajuana na this Uh, wakiwa bado wanazidi kwenye the same conversation diposa wakati Becky anaingia kutoka kule upande mwingine na Junior uh, wame, wameboeka sana kumuona huyu mwanadada eh hawafurahi sana kumuona uh, Chantel hapa diposa wanamuuliza wadi wanamfukuza manzee Becky na Tata anasema huyu dada afukuzwe ndo mo anamwambia kwamba ni mimi nilimu invite so mo kwa authority gani ana invite hadi mwanadada Chantel hapa eh so uh, Becky tena anadai kwamba wafukuzwe sasa wote kumbuka all this long Becky anakuwa anamchukia sana nani Shanten all this long 
Beki hajai mpenda sana nani. Uh, Beki mwona shantel wote wawili. So anadai wafukuzo but mwona ni nani. Anambia junior uh, wakati uliniita hapa uliniambia na kuwa member of the family. So I have the right to make decisions in this house. So kunifukuza see the best idea. The best thing here is that chase away Beki and also do what? Fukuza huyu mwanadada shantel. Kumbuka Beki size ako na kiburi maze. Anyway, in this episode ni wazi kwamba uh, Shantel amejifikisha pale kwenye mansion lakini anafukuzwa kama umbo wa maze uh, because there's nothing they want to hear from her. Yo uda kwamba ampeleka huko maze saidi. So this is episode 25. Remember to subscribe, like and turn on notification bell.